Previously on NTG Builds. Three, two, one. Oh my God. We're gonna make a catapult and launch ourselves into the lake. I can pick both you guys up. I literally just like picking them up like nothing. Once you reach that point, you're gonna have six feet of drop at lightning speed. <laughs> Today is like day four on the uh, uh, Suki stick. Uh, firework, <laughs> sorry, the catapult. Sorry about the Nate, didn't see you there. No worries, I only had to pee, now I have to go wipe my pants. Dude, the fact that we built <laughs> the whole thing on this foundation. That we found in the dirt. We haven't even put the weight on it yet. <laughs> we got another 1,800 pounds to put in there. As you guys can see, this took a lot of planning in order to figure out our trajectory, which angles we wanted to launch from, how fast and how far we actually wanted to go out into this yeah, pond. I think this is but great, I mean, we right can... now this is great. Definitely not one of our brighter moves, but we tried to reuse the winch that came on the trailer that we found in the dirt, so you guys can imagine how that turned out. Oh my fucking god, it's working! Yo, watch your head, bro. Seriously, move back. Wait, what are you doing? So we need to move it in. We're not getting it up. This is gonna hook to the bottom. You're of course. Up that, yeah. Well, good call, my guy. I have an idea, what if we just put limit straps on it? So we can keep it exactly where it's at, but we hold it back from here to like a point over here, so it holds it there. It's because we need this leverage, we need it to be as close to the end as possible. Well, yeah, but even if you do that, you're changing the side. Ooh! What the fuck just... Dude, this whole thing moved up and down. That broke all the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's sketch. So that needs to be reinforced. Always See, and that, and that crack wasn't all the way through. Yeah, needless to say, dudes, we reinforce that. Definitely reinforce that. Then we moved on to installing the seat. We'll see if Corey likes it, but I've never been accused of being smart. This is not the angle you want to do. Um, we're, that's why you're here. I just had that set up. So if we're at 70 when we launch, 70 degrees. So if we went 20 degrees on top of 70, that would leave that face at 90 degrees, which is just straight up and down when we hit, right? And you wanted a little bit cupped. Yeah, so that's a little bit cupped. Well, I don't know. We're gonna figure out the time. I, I was looking for that as you guys were walking over here and then I turned the music down. So Ninety degrees, and we're launching up still. So it's kind of cupping us as we're going through the air. I like so that. now we move on to the release latch, and this is important because we are storing a lot of potential energy, and so we want it to be secure, but we also need it to quickly and easily get out of the way so we can launch safely. So that's that's what we're doing. Maybe something off of here. We'll we'll re weld this down here. Like I take two quarter inch plates and drill a hole through it and weld it to here. It's the same difference. Yeah. So, but I love that position. That there. This is our contact point. And that's done. I love it. One of those fucking things are gonna go. Boom. That's perfect. That's the bucket. There she is. <laughs> All right, fire. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna send you into the castle, okay? You're our Trojan horse, okay? Yeah. Eight, eight, two, one. Go You're going up. to the moon. But everything is actually, I think, Lee, I think completely done. I think all we need is just a test run right now. Test run? It's everything's. And the winch. Okay, we'll, we'll get the winch. So like Corey said, it's time to attach the winch in a really weird way. Yeah. You could have just climbed up the front too. <laughs> oh my Dude, the whole thing's so wobbly from up here. All right, now the winch is gonna be tightening it and pulling it down. Should we be able to lift it up? No problem. <laughs> That's fucking close, bro. Wait. Oh no, we're good. It's the angle, it's the yeah, angle. Yeah. So as we're uh, kind of putting together, we're seeing the flaws that are coming up that we might need to address. Yeah. Wow, bro, this is so stupid. Bro, I had no idea that we would actually be able to do this. So, by tomorrow, this thing is gonna be able to throw me. 
Wow, fully loaded, bro. But is this acknowledged? This is the first time we've ever seen this up in the air. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Holy crap. Is that easy? Not hardly anything right now. <laughs> But that's a whole lot on me. Wait, are you even holding it? No, it's going down. It's going down. It won't go down. Bro, the weight's going down. <laughs> this is a big problem in the Russian space station. Wow, I'm so excited to see this thing fucking I'm throw so me. Excited. Oh my are god. You this, dude? Yo, uh, uh, and our uh, test subjects are over here actually. This is what we're gonna be throwing. <laughs> so good. So fucking good. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Dude, let's make this look good. Yeah, I think with that. Dude, nice! Hey guys. Do This is our test dummy right here. This is a 180 hey, pound. Am I calling it you? So this is our test dummy here. This is 180 pounds of sand. We're gonna load it in and uh, we're gonna send here uh, straight to the moon. We really hope it works. A little bit of me hopes it doesn't too. That's what we gotta talk about. Should I sit? Bro. You're gonna go straight out, but I really hope. I I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far. Not from here, but we lower it down. You'll leave. You'll have a more angle trajectory up. God damn, dude! This is everything we need to fucking test right now. We have no idea if the releasing, if the pull it's down, if it's gonna launch us, if we're gonna make it, if something's gonna just get destroyed, if the whole thing's gonna lift up off the fucking ground and or just fucking land on the. Works face. better than we ever imagined. I, I, that's what I believe, bro. It's gonna be mean, fucking sick. I don't want to throw the 60 pound. I don't want to see how far it goes. I just want to throw the whole fucking 180. Let's do the 180. Right off of that, yeah. Or do you want to load all four? Nah. M catastrophe, let's make sure. Okay. Yeah, over test it. Over test. Yeah, just like they do on tires and then tell you to do less speed. And, and elevators. Everything. <laughs> fucking <laughs> everything. Suggestions. Keep your suggestions to yourself. We should put like caution. Human catapult. Don't go on. It's not made for humans. And it's right now, uh, the, the day that we chose to do this, we literally thought it was uh, 12 degrees, but don't worry, it's going to get to 12 what later time? today. It says like 20 degrees at launch time. Ha, yes. So we're going to be in the water at 20 degrees, but it doesn't matter. We waited a long time to make this happen. <laughs> this is going to be the human cattle. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen right now. Holy fuck, bro. That is so much fucking weight. You got leverage advantage now. Yeah. Hey, hey. Bro, this is fun. That is so much weight. There's the amount of weight of a car on that end. Probably 1,700 pounds over there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, bro. That's how much weight. We can hold it with just that. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 careful. Back up, everybody yeah, back, back up. Back. No, 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 whoa. don't do that, don't do that. Oh, it works. <laughs> it works. Bro, it works. I'll call okay, you later, so baby. we need a, a safety chain that goes later. around here it's to that, so when it's loaded. Wow, that was crazy. So this lever works, we, we had no idea. We're finding out everything working is now. Oh no, we put a spring from here down. That'll hold it, and then we force it open, but this works. Oh wait, we're, we're gonna load it up with the first fucking bag right now. I feel like we need another bungee on the back of that thing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, all right, this is 180 pounds in the bucket. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I fucking tightened it. Bro, that's why I tightened it. Don't lean over the side. We're loaded, let's just go. We have completely disconnected. Everybody, be ready for the unexpected. Three, two, one. And we didn't get the full speed. Are but we getting? Oh fuck! There's a fat. Look at the holes that it fucking. Look how far it sunk into the ground. <laughs> Can see how far it sunk into the ground? Through. Surprisingly, that worked way better than we all expected. The fact that nothing went wrong is crazy. And it left the thing. I yeah, it left it. I think we should do like a check. You know what's crazy? That was 180 pounds. I'm 130. I'm gonna go way further. And Holy and fuck! It. I want to see that again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? It, it hopped the whole foot. It hit the trailer. So fucking sick. I don't care how cold it is. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. I really hope this works and we don't have to put the leash spin on, bro. Yeah. Now he's 
making it safe. It wasn't safe before. But don't worry, it's safe now. No, none of this was safe. You're off the ground. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I didn't put on my weight, though. That's a lot heavier. I'm going to go a lot further. Dude, Jeff is going to be so stoked. He helped yeah, us. He, he literally designed, like, how this is going to go. And, like, we were able to build the entire thing. These gentlemen here. I helped a little. I, but I was able to design it, too. They had a lot of questions. I'm glad that I actually felt I had a part in creating this thing, too. Hey, Nick, can you tell them I'm smart, too? Yes. Really smart. And this guy is... Actually, the guy behind the scenes figuring out the calculations and no, but you too, you too. Oh me? Yeah, it's seventy percent you. I'd say, oh no, okay, it's ninety percent you, ten percent me. Yes. Bro, I'm not gonna fucking lie. No, to get to see it, guys. We just built a fucking human catapult. Yeah, yeah. You ready to fucking launch me, bro? Let's, Let's go, go. dudes. Red. All right, you guys about to see the angle we'll be flying. Let's go. Holy fuck, dude! I'm getting an unloaded weapon right now. You ready in case it goes? Yeah. Oh, I can't see because of that. There you go. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, danger close and loaded. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna ask it one more time. Go on. You ready? You ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready, ready. Go on. Yeah! Dude, I landed on my fucking head! Dude, the Nordic guy! Did I tell him? She's gonna save him too, that's amazing! Oh my amazing. god, bro! I just got launched! How far did I go? How fast did that acceleration feel? Bro, I hit my head so fucking hard. Oh, really? Wow! It's like, oh, okay, okay, so you know like roller coasters? Uh -huh. When you go off and it goes, Goosh! it literally felt like that. Dude, the acceleration was like, <laughs> Faster than like a fucking GTR with a thousand horsepower. Really? It literally, oh, yeah. the G's like, it literally, fuck! Well, there's no way I'm not doing this. Can we reset? Oh, yeah, he's doing let's it. Reset. Yo, wow. Let's go. Please don't do one. Wow. Yeah, let's bring it down. Okay. All right, let's bring it down. down. Keep the cameras going. Fuck, wow. Let's go. Dude, dude, okay, when you go, okay, you either gotta dive or. Cause you're gonna you're gonna go for a belly flop. Yeah, try to push it's hard my to flip. Feet. So I'm yeah, thinking yeah. I'm thinking like that, and then you're gonna your body is gonna do that because of the mo majority of your weight's there. It's gonna flip. I'm down. You ready, Freddy? Okay. Yeah. We good? Chase. You ready, buddy? I'm ready, dude. Right. Three, two, two one. one. Oh my god! I broke my ear. You what? You good? No, I broke my ear. You broke your ear? Oh, fuck. So at the last second, right before I hit the water, I turned my head to avoid hitting my face. That caused my ear to slap the water and rupture, as well as giving me a concussion. I couldn't tell which way was up or down, and it was dark and bright all at the same time. It was very nuts. So as I'm walking to the house, I have this crazy ringing in my head, kind of wishy-washy everywhere. The ground is soft underneath my feet, and I can start to feel water draining down the inside of my ear canal. At this point, I'm kind of just walking around trying to do anything to change the way I feel as I'm trying to figure out what's going on at the same time. So I blow my nose and I can hear air coming out of my ears. That's not good. I blew my eardrum. When I blow in my ear, I can hear like air Holy crap. Oh, that's cold. I'm gonna live once. 